Most people in America are familiar with what their rights are and aren't with regard to their technology and someone else's technology. What I find absolutely amazing and offensive is that this morning I've been recording things at the request of an individual in which I have to put particular words for that profession and for that ideology into that video in order to do that to satisfy the requirements of what we're trying to express. And sometimes a passionate play does a lot better than an intellectual one. The reality is that there are words now and there are parts now missing from that video. And I just recorded it and I just uploaded it and I did not authorize anyone at any time to get onto my video channel. I have not authorized you to edit my concept of life. I have not authorized you the opportunity to edit my opinions about something that causes me strife. And I have not authorized you, just like any other human being, to get onto my computer at any time. There is no person in my family of origin that I've ever allowed to be on my computers or my technology, and I never would. At this time, in the olden days, I might have trusted an older sibling with them, but not anymore. In this world, we have people who are a part of our family of choice, and I don't entrust you to participate in that today, especially if you're doing this stuff in the shadows in the back alleys of your house, keeping other people not at bay. What I'm talking about is your immoralness, and it is immoral for you to think that you have the right to be a owner, a slave master of someone else's life. 